Hi, everybody. So if you've dealt with young people recently, you know that they would rather text than talk on the phone. But this can be a problem when they're trying to get a job or just moving along in business. Gail Goodman is with PhoneTeacher.com. Gail, how do we get them to get better etiquette and attitude on the phone? Well, I think one of the challenges we have is that because they're so much more comfortable typing rather than talking, if you do hire somebody who's younger, the first thing you need to assume is that they don't know what they're doing. And you need to be very clear when you hire them that phoning is going to be part of the job. Now, your challenge as an owner is that people who are desperate for work will kind of nod their head and say, sure, I'll do that during the interview. But once you actually decide to hire somebody, you have to know how to train them to be the way you want them to be on the phone. To assume that they come with any kind of skill set is the mistake of the owner. Well, I will tell you, I have a millennial working for me, and she is tremendous, but she would rather email to confirm things. And I'm old school. I say call to confirm. Yeah, we need to let them know that even though they have an entire set of rules that says all this emailing and texting is fine, we need to apprise them of the fact that there's another world. It's called possibly your baby boomer boss's world, and they prefer to you for you to make a call, you know, not just to confirm things, but more importantly, they're not calling people when there's a problem. And to think that you can solve a problem through emails, to me, is totally nutty. They don't realize that. They think it's perfectly fine to go back and forth 15 times around an issue that would get settled in three minutes if you were person-to-person on the phone. Well, I personally like talking on the phone. Gail Goodman is with PhoneTeacher.com. PhoneTeacher.com. I'm Grant Stinchfield. This is a Lone Star Business Report.